वेलकम डॉक्टर अविनाश चंदर टू द स्पेशल एडिशन ऑफ इंटरव्यू फॉर न्यूज पोर्टल भारत डिफेंस कवर्स डॉट कॉम एंड सर इंडिजनाइजेशन इज द मंत्र ऑफ द डे एंड डी आर डी ओ इज डूइंग एक्सीलेंट जॉब टू मीट दिस नेशनल एस्पिरेशन कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशन फॉर दैट थैंक यू सुशील वेन वी टॉक ऑफ इंडिजनाइजेशन आर स्ट्रेटेजिक मिसाइल प्रोग्राम इज टोटली इंडिजिनस एंड वेन वी कंपेयर इट विद अदर नेशंस इंक्लूडिंग आर Uh, adversaries where do you, where do we stand today first of all when you compare the standing it is a question of what are your threat perceptions what are your requirements what are your uh, leader capabilities you want to create what is the damaging protection what is the type of deterrence you want to have as a policy we are aiming at the minimum necessary deterrence to that extent the capability which has been created and what is planned is meeting the best of the standards as compared to the, our adversaries best of the standards okay. if you take today we are making missiles uh, long range missiles strategic missiles from 300 kilometers to 5000 kilometers range on the tactical missiles we are making surface to air missiles akash under production we are also making futuristic missiles with joint partnerships with israel lrsm mrsm we are making an anti radiation missile development which we have taken up recently the aim is to home on to the radiating element for our radars and similar stations to make the path of the in Uh, aircrafts which are following to make it easier for them to continue and complete their missions so these missiles will home on to the radiating devices and even if they stop radiating this will still be able to home on to them based on the past information so that is the type of weapon from a fairly long distance good stand off distance we should be able to destroy the enemy radars at what stage is this developing this development we have got already the project is sanctioned we have got the initial design has been completed and we'll start development soon astra air to air missile has gone through very good tests recently and so what about this agni 5 and uh, agni 6 or what you call it mirv uh, when is the next test of agni 5 and how many more tests will be conducted before it is inducted into the services and what's the status of mirv or agni 6 whatever you call it any missile which we induct of this class agni class of systems has to go through four to five tests at least before it gets inducted sometimes it may be a little more so that is what is planned and second test of agni 5 should happen within next couple of months I think we are. We should be able to do by before June. Before June, yeah. okay. And what about the MIR? We at what stage this development is uh, program is? Uh? First of all, there is no program like A6. Okay. okay, it is a natural extension of A5 and all we are doing. But MIR is a capability which is a natural derivative of where we have reached. Okay. There are many new. technologies involved because if you see agni 5 it carries about a 1 ton yeah. payload stage when we come to the multiple warheads the payloads world over come to something like 3 tons oh. now 1 ton to 3 ton payload poses a massive challenge in terms of the for with the design range. with the same range so you will need a much better propulsion systems mm-hmm. so that is the work which has been initiated mm-hmm. of course there are many new technologies for deploying the multiple warheads to create the necessary spread to have futuristic intelligent built into the warheads and the dis- deployment systems these technologies are being now developed mm-hmm. and i think a good progress is 
going on any any target to test the mirb capability near future or in a time to as i told you we don't have any formal program okay. sanctioned so right now we are in any program we go through the enabling technologies okay. create a confidence level maturity of the progress that's going on mm -hmm. and once the technology is available I think the rest is a matter of after that it will take a hardly a year, year and a half to be able to launch a missile. Mm -hmm. And so, the uh, uh, space assets are of paramount importance for the economic and uh, strategic uh, interest of the nation. And uh, with the uh, ASAT capabilities with some of our adversaries, adversaries particularly China in North, uh, there is always a threat to our uh, space assets. So, do we have any program to counter such a threat or can we also have the capability to incapacitate the adversary to f go for such an attack? You have touched a very vital point actually. If you see today India has about 22 satellites in space, out of them 9 are in geo stationary Station. orbits and they are the heart of India's communication system, television, any damage on any one of them is going to be psychologically yes. very effective, very important and more important and will affect triple the basic communication part. In a today's network centric warfare, so. there is a very important issue. Now, there are many ways what you can. In fact, if you take the space segment security mm. or the space security as an so. new emerging discipline mm. or dimension of security, there are many things which we need to do. First of all, we have to track the what are the space situation. Okay. We should be able to know whose satellite, yeah. which country, what this is the is origin, proper data. what is his, its intention, is it a a threat to us or it is not a threat to us. Identify who are our adversaries, who has destroyed our satellite in case it is destroyed, because mostly it will be destroyed when it is not over our territory. So, so we should be able to detect and identify. So, you need to have a network of sensors on ground and in space, which is capable of detecting and identifying each and every object in its space its maneuvers, its change in path, its course and so on. Basically, to catalog and identify the objects. Now, second part is how to deny yeah. the use of space. In case your th assets are being threatened, there are active denial mode and there is a passive denial mode. So, there are always you might have heard of people blinding the satellite when it yes, is sir. crossing your territory. Yes, so, that is one way of mm -hmm. doing. Second is actively hitting it either through laser beams or through mm -hmm. the kinetic yeah. kill weapons. If you see we have already demonstrated the ballistic missile kill probability yes, capabilities. Satellite that way is a relatively more benign target okay. for two reasons. One is it has been orbiting for years mm -hmm. or months. So, you have all the time to track its path and predict its arrival very accurately. Second is it practically has no maneuvering, yeah. very very minor maneuvering, it has no defenses. Well, correspondingly the velocities are higher than a typical missile. Today, uh, with our launch vehicle capability of uh, ballistic missile launch systems, our missiles are able to reach 1000 kilometers, 2000 kilometers altitude without any problem. That coupled with a kinetic kill vehicle, which is used in the anti-ballistic missile defense, you can always generate a capability to kill a satellite. That is not a major issue. What I understand is that we also have uh, the same capability as the Chinese, which have been demonstrated, demonstrated by the Chinese in the past. Then why are we shying away 
to demonstrate our capability? I think it is more a matter of the national policy, because if you see every satellite kill creates huge amount of debris. Yeah. So, we have to be take a very conscious decision. Uh, we are playing with the environment space, which is a pedigree for all the human race. So, while we need to have the capability, we also have to see a very calibrated and conscious decision, when to test it, how to test it. The ability to test anyway is getting demonstrated in the anti-ballistic missile so, program. So, it is not that much of an issue. So, it, let us see as we evolve and as the threat perceptions change, the policies also change accordingly. But today, we are fully capable of creating a weapon of this class at a very short notice. At a very short notice. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much and wish you all the best for your future. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you.